York Central went bankrupt. It was merged with Penn Central. And then there's a series of financial institutions that took over the ownership of Grand Central until finally now the MTA, I believe, holds it as a long-term lease. But the revitalization, which has been so popular with New Yorkers, because you know, Grand Central was really cleaned up and the ceiling was restored and all of that, happened as a huge public part private partnership around the retail. And there's an enormous amount of retail in Grand Central, which is one of the reasons people like to come. Now, what's interesting about the retail is there's very few chain stores. Um, there's a great food market. And it's kind of retail that I think is a direct connection to the commuter use of the station. So you're going home from work, you pick up some fruits and vegetables and, and, and some fish because that's what you're eating for dinner that night. And all that works very well. So now here in the main head house, the stairs that lead up to Vanderbilt Avenue and the Campbell apartment, this whole, this whole staircase was original. Right? Whereas um, the stairs on the east side of the building were added. And originally, originally they were felt that they weren't needed because there's so much less development to the east. And in fact, as the Chrysler building was built and a lot of the buildings that were built around Grand Central were built, it all started to become called Terminal City, which is a term I love. <laughs> you know, I love the idea of you know, because we really, I mean, now there's this resurgence in people understanding the connection between land use and transportation. But again, that it's not like we're reinventing the wheel. I mean, when people talk about terminal city, right, that's really clearly understanding the nexus between density and infrastructure. One of the most, most interesting things to me about Grand Central is the section of the building. And these ramps and so forth actually ended up influencing the way airports are designed. The way the station was designed influenced a lot of what came after in different modes of transportation. As I've worked on Moynihan, I actually had one governor, who shall not be named here, say to me, Vishan, isn't Moynihan just a big architecture project? And as we've gone through and tried to build it, it's amazing the number of um, different reasons we've had to use to say it's worthwhile building a new terminal. Security, Penn Station should certainly be safer. Um, fire egress and smoke evacuation. I mean, all these things that are sort of uh, a bean counter can look at and say that, um, you know, well, here's a kind of objective rationale for building a new terminal or a new station as opposed to saying, you know, look at what we used to build 100 years ago. Look at the grandeur around you. And this is just a way to get to Connecticut and Westchester. Right. It's not the way to get to Washington and Boston, right? Uh, and so that's kind of astonishing.